The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Yesterday we had more smoke and haze than what we had outside. Today we were actually code yellow or in the moderate air quality yesterday. Today all is good again. We're code green, which means even if you suffer from respiratory issues, it's okay to spend some time outside today. A, because the air quality is good and B, because it feels really, really good outside. That's going to change though relatively soon. Why? Because of high pressure bringing more heat, more humidity back in our direction. We talked about it not long ago, but you need to know that we've got heat advisories and excessive heat warnings extending from the U.S. Canada border all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So we have got heat advisories across a good part of the country right now. Nothing for us just yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if by Friday the National Weather Service issues a heat alert for at least some of us across Southwest Virginia, more specifically across Southside. Let's talk future tracker and we are watching that band of showers and thunderstorms to the north of us. It could bring us a chance for a couple of showers here as we head into tonight. The best chance for a couple of showers I think will be either in the highlands or in the New River Valley. Otherwise, Thursday is going to be a day where we're partly sunny. Nice mix of sun and clouds headed our way. And I think there's a better chance tomorrow that we see some spotty showers and thunderstorms in comparison to what we had outside today where we were all dry. Once again tomorrow, I'm thinking that the uh, two zones that have the best chance for a little bit of rain will be the Highlands and the New River Valley. So the mountains, I think, have the best chance to see just a couple of showers or thunder showers tomorrow. This activity will wind down early tomorrow evening and much of Thursday night looks pretty quiet until close to sunrise on Friday where we may pick up on a few more showers. And then it looks like we're going to have another band of rain pushing in later on Friday afternoon into Friday evening. So we're going to have about a 30 to 35% chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms as we head into Thursday, Friday. Maybe a slight bump up to about 35 to 40% on Saturday. Temperatures right now about 73 in Hot Springs. You're 10 degrees warmer in Blacksburg at 83, 82 Lynchburg, 84 Roanoke, 85 is the hot spot right now in South Boston, 78 Hillsville and Galax. Now as we look at those uh, zone temperatures for tomorrow, much different than today. We're looking at highs in the NRV. Upper 80s, ditto for Covington, Clifton Forge, a little bit cooler further north than to Hot Springs and Monterey. 93 Roanoke, Lynchburg, 94 tomorrow across south side. Hot, humid Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but by Sunday into early next week, the jet stream is going to take a dip and that's going to pull in some cooler air. So the heat is actually going to retreat to the south and to the west by Sunday into early next week. But still looks like because the jet stream is going to be pretty close to us, we're going to have that chance for some pop up thunder showers. Once they get here Thursday, they may be with us into much of next week. So you'll notice about a 30% chance for some thunder showers really for the foreseeable future beginning tomorrow. For tonight, pretty comfortable outside. Can't rule out the chance for a couple of showers here or there. Overnight lows about 60 to 66. For tomorrow, we're turning hotter. Going to have isolated showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms possible, but more of us stay dry than get wet. As we were talking about, highs tomorrow, 80s and 90s. Oh, Friday, 97. It's going to feel over 100 in areas along and east of the parkway. Now we're 90 on Saturday and look what happens to those temperatures by next week. Highs about 80 to 84 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Notice each and every day looks the same as far as the cloud cover and the sunshine. Each and every day we're going to see a mix of sun and clouds, about a 30% chance for some hit or miss thunder showers from Thursday all the way through Tuesday.